everyone out here. So I'm out hunting again. Uh, I just had a truck behind me and I let him go ahead because I don't really care if I shoot a deer. But uh, I am looking for some good country and I think I found some. It's really, really nice in here and there's tons of deer sign all over. Um, like, I mean, just take a look at that over there. Um, so apparently this road goes a long, long ways. I haven't, haven't seen any deer yet, but uh, I'll keep you all posted. There's lots of deer tracks on the road and uh, hopefully the guy in front of me, young guy with his girlfriend or wife, hopefully they'll shoot something. He seemed quite grateful that I let him go ahead. All right, I'm gonna go for a little hike here. I'm gonna go over onto that ridge and uh, hopefully I can see down the other side and do some glassing and uh, see what I can see. Lots of deer sign up here. But uh, let's go check it out. Okay, I'm on top of that ridge. You can't really see a whole lot. I might go down there. I might be able to see down over there more. But uh, I glassed all this. I even looked under all the trees. Looking for ears, horns, any kind of movement at all. It's not the greatest time of day, it's midday, but uh, you never know, something might push something around or spook something or winds and going a bad way, it's going down that way. So I'm gonna head up, follow the ridge down a little more, maybe I can see down below it. My tracker is right up over there. It's a nice spot here, there's lots of deer sign is good. I'm gonna pick up some chains for the tracker and uh, hopefully I can get in here in two weeks. It depends how much snow there is. You can sure tell how deep the snow gets up here by the stumps of those trees. They're gonna be 10 feet high. Okay, I'm gonna continue on here. Two tracks here. Okay, I just glassed all that down there. Didn't, don't see anything. It's really tough to spot deer in this stuff. The way the colors are. Uh, I'm gonna cut down here. I'm quite a ways from the tracker now. So I'm gonna cut down here and get back on the road and then walk up to the tracker. Once I get going, I get going. Okay, I'm gonna glass that one more time and then uh, and head down here and cut around. Still hiking. Got myself in some timber now. But uh, shouldn't be for too long. And then I should hit the road. And then I just walk up from there. I hope. <laughs> I got a GPS. If I can turn around in here. Better have a look at my GPS here again. Let's see where I'm gonna come out. Carry a squirrel. Usually squirrels are a little more afraid of you. But, uh, yeah, believe it or not, I got turned around in here. So I had to go back the way I came. The road's not where I thought it was, so I'll go back up to my tracks and uh, backtrack from there, which is up, which is just great. So it's always good to have a GPS with you guys. It looks so simple. 
can turn into a couple wrong turns and then you're foobard. Watch out for those slippery logs underneath the snow. I already slipped and fell once. We're almost back out, but none of this looks familiar to me. Weird. <laughs> so easy to get turned around. It's kind of snowing right now. Just a little bit. Moose tracks right here. Seen where someone shot a moose earlier. Oh man. I, I'm gonna continue on here, guys. All I can say is, wow, did I get turned around? Because I was up there and I cut down hoping to cut this road. The road ends there. And I was way the hell down there. Huh. So easy to get turned around. Shouldn't have just backtracked. I'm back on the even when I got back on this road, I started walking the wrong way until I looked at the good old GPS again. Man, that thing has saved my life so many times. Can't say enough about that. I hope the wind's not noisy right now. Man, oh man. I can't believe where I went. Yeah, I was way down there. Okay. It's probably wind noise, but that's why I turned around like this. So, I'm just going to keep going here and uh, scouting for more hunting area. I got the joys of four by and by yourself. I should have just went over top of this, I think. Yeah, this would have been way better. But I didn't. So now, I'm gonna think of what I can do here. Uh, I hope I can run my winch line up to here and winch this thing sideways. I think that's what I will do. Okay, everybody's working. I think. Hang on. Okay, I got myself out this far, but the back end is almost like a wheel chuck, so I'm going to winch the front again. I'm pretty much screwed. So. I'm free from this log pretty much now. So if I winch myself to that same hitch and uh, slide my front end over, so I'm over top of that log, which is solid, and I did cut through it, and uh, I should be able to get out. Let's see how that works for me. Okay. Just got me out. Okay, I think I should be able to get myself out now. Let's have a look on the other side. Oh, I was stuck right in between there. Oh yeah, I'm good now. Awesome. <laughs> All that 4x4 gear that I just bought just came in real handy now, didn't it? Super handy. Gonna put the first brake on. Oops. 
Hey. As long as I did, I had this 20 footer here around a tree as a tree saver. Then I used my soft shackle, and of course, my eyelet wasn't big enough to go through the soft shackle, so I just used this clevis. And uh, there we go. Boy, am I glad that I just got this all back together the winch cable and all the, the goodies I just bought. So, whew, I would have been screwed without it. So, uh, I'm going to disconnect, put everything away, and then continue on. It is right now, it is 2.30, so I've only got like two, late, two hours of daylight left. So I'm going to cruise around and see, see if I can find a spot to watch until dark. But uh, first of all, let's make sure I can get out of here. Okay, everyone, I'm out. <laughs> I should have just went over here, but I followed the side-by-side -side tracks. And he went that way, so I used this tree over here as an anchor point. That big one reeled down low and just winched myself sideways. I did cut through this log, but... For some reason, it's still solid. I think it doesn't even move. So yeah, so let's continue on. Deer should be starting to move, maybe. <laughs> let's go find some deer over here. Sure glad I had that bag. I'm gonna go over what I have in that bag there one day. Because uh, if I didn't have any of that or the winch, I would not have got out of here. I would have been stuck here overnight. So. Two people I might have been able to get out. Maybe been out. Well, I don't know. Anyways, let's go find a deer. I guess I found this area to glass. Seems to be a popular spot and other vehicles have been here and you can see where people sat here and had a fire and stuff. But it looks to be good. I've glassed it for about a half an hour now. I don't know how much longer I'll stay here. Let's see if I can find other areas up here to glass, just for future. Although it would be nice to see a buck and shoot one. So yeah, so I'm just gonna keep on going till dark. That up there is like a thousand yards that there is 200 that up there is like 700 sorry all meters all meters guys okay i'm gonna get the glass to my face here checked out and I hiked down there and glassed down there. Sun's out. Not for much longer I would bet. So I'm gonna turn around and see if we can find another good spot to quickly glass here. Hello everybody, that's going to conclude this video. It was quite the day, I got lost with a uh, GPS, it was no problem though. And then two, I got stuck in the tracker by myself and luckily I had uh, soft shackle, 20 foot uh, tow rope or tow sling and uh, the brand new uh, rope on the winch and man did it work, it got me out of there. So I'm going to head home now. So thanks everybody for watching. Please like, subscribe, hit the notifications button so you don't miss any of the future content. And uh, I didn't see any deer today, but I did find a lot of nice new country. I only did a little bit of walking, not much. So uh, maybe next time I'll get out and do more. Anyways, thanks for watching everybody. Take care and be safe.